With the help of Project IDX with the client extension, I was capable of creating this beautiful finance tracker app, which is quite responsive and it provides live visualization of your transactions and it gives you financial insights as well. So in this case, you can add a transaction and you can provide a value, describe the type as well as the category, and you can click add transaction and you'll see a live preview and visualization within the spending overview and monthly trend. Yesterday, I had made a video about a new free AI editor that's by Google and it's called Project IDX. This is a full stack AI editor in the cloud and it's a fantastic free alternative to tools like Cursor and Windsurf AI. Now, Project IDX is an AI assisted workspace that's designed for full stack multi-platform app development and it supports a wide range of frameworks, languages and services that seamlessly integrate with your favorite Google products. It streamlines your development workflow, and with IDX, you can build and deploy apps across platforms faster, easier, and with higher quality. You were capable of seeing in my last video how I was able to make a fully functional Android app with just a single prompt, where it's capable of tracking steps, it's capable of also tracking your calories burnt, and all of these tabs are fully functional where you can track the progress of the amount of steps you take on a daily or weekly basis, which is just insane. And not just that, you have the capability to choose from various templates, from building mobile apps, backends, AI machine learning, or even databases. But the only problem is, there was a common concern that was raised about Project IDX only relying on the Google Gemini models. Now, while these models are excellent, it can feel restrictive to being limited to just one AI provider. But which is why today I'm introducing a game changing solution where you're gonna be able to connect Project IDX to Klein as an AI extension. For those who are unfamiliar, Klein is an autonomous coding agent that operates directly within your IDE. It can create and edit files, execute commands, browse the web, and so much more, all with your permission each step of the way. The reason why is because with Project IDX, you can have Klein downloaded as an extension, which will enable you to allow you to have access to multiple different AI providers like Claude, as well as Anthropic. This basically means that with Project IDX, which is fully on the cloud and fully free, obviously you have concern with data leaks with Google, but in terms of having access to this cloud platform, you're going to be able to then access the best model that's available, which is Anthropic's Cloud 3.5 Sonnet via Klein, so that you get the best workflow that is robust and flexible for building any application. So I want you guys to head over to the Project IDX link in the description below. Once you are here, you can then accept the terms and then you can click continue. Now, once that is done, you can then enable the AI features and this is where you're going to be able to then have access to various things. Now. You want to head over to the main dashboard and this is where you can start building any application on the cloud. You can select between various templates from web apps that has the ability to access various programming languages like React, you have Angular, I don't know why you would use that, too old, but you have so many other options that you can use to create your apps. You also have the ability to configure backend templates, mobile, AI machine learning, databases, and various other things. You also have various solutions that you can explore. But if you are to go back to the main dashboard, one really cool feature is that you can continue working on an existing project by importing a repo, which is just insane. But now what we're gonna be doing is starting off by adopting a web app template with React. So we're gonna go ahead and create a random app. Let's just create a React app and we're gonna go ahead and click continue. You have two languages that you can choose between JavaScript and TypeScript go ahead and click on create this is where it's going to set up the workspace it's going to initialize the environment build the environment and finalize it and once that's done you can see right away it's going to go ahead and install all the necessary packages and create your template for you now while it's doing this i want you guys to head over to the extension tab this is where i want you guys to go ahead and search up klein and this is the extension that we're going to be using to have various other providers integrated within project idx so go ahead and click on install and another cool feature is that you have a preview of everything being generated live so you can see the same sort of artifact feature that anthropic provides live within project idx so 
Now we can see that client has now been installed. So we can close this and then we can go ahead and provide an API provider. So in this case, in my opinion, the best model to use for coding based tasks is going to be Anthropic. So go ahead and provide your Anthropic API key. So now that we have a workflow set, I want to showcase what you can actually do with client. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and create a modern React finance tracking app with a responsive design, including a homepage with an overview of expenses and navigation links. And I basically will have client set up the plan for it. And we can see it wants to go ahead and utilize the files that we have already set within the template. So you can see it's going to now be able to execute terminal based commands within our project IDX dashboard. Now, you can use this to basically generate the base of your app. And I'll also explain where you can use the free features of Project IDX for maybe even debugging or even autocomplete or even providing suggestions to your code. So we can see right away, it's going ahead and making all the necessary changes. We can then click on save. And once it has finished generating everything, I'll showcase a preview of how it looks. And it looks like it has finished the first iteration of this finance tracker app. It's not too special, but it did get the job done. You're going to be able to add recent transactions and see the visualization of it in terms of the spending overview. You have two types, expenses and income. You can also add various categories. So let's say our expense for food is about $50 for the month. And let's say our description for it is, let's just say we went on buying uh groceries so we can go ahead and add this transaction and then you can see that it will make the changes to our spending overview graph so now i'm going to actually improve the ui for it so i'm going to go ahead and install shatzien and to do so you can just request client to do it for you so you can say please install the shatzien packages to improve the UI. So we can go ahead and send this in and it's actually going to then go ahead and execute terminal based commands. It's going to go ahead and ask to view the preview of the file and then it's going to install within the terminal that uh, Project IDX provides. To save some time, I also iterated on providing a couple of new prompts to improve the graph as well as the visualization of our balances. But we can see we have such a really cool app that actually has a dark mode installed as well. So we can see that it installed the Shad CN packages for us with the help of Klein. And we have a lot of cool new things like a financial insight tab where you can see uh, what sort of top spending category is being uh, basically shown for the month. And you're going to be able to also add transactions. You can see the UI is a little bit better. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. Uh, for groceries, we have this much as expense and they added a couple of new categories. So we can go ahead and add this transaction and it will make the changes to our spending overview, our monthly trend, as well as to our total ba balance. And we are going to be able to see the financial insights for the transactions that we've made. Now, say you don't even want to use Klein or provide any sort of API provider to Project IDX. You can go ahead to explore you can click on any file you want to work on and you can open up the Gemini models, which are completely for free. In this case, you can even try the interactive chat feature, which is where you can have the same sort of feature that you would get with Klein, but with the Gemini models completely for free. So in this case, you can uh, ask it random questions about your code. You can provide uh, the have Gemini provide the ability to execute terminal based commands for you. And then you can even have it so that you can even debug your code. Now, in my opinion, the best workflow would be to utilize Klein to execute and generate the base structure of your app and then use something like Gemini to help you debug or provide suggestions to improve your code. But that's basically it for today's video on Project IDX being uh, coupled with something like Klein. It's going to greatly elevate your workflow and it's going to definitely assist you in creating various applications quite easily with a lot of free templates. So I definitely recommend that you try this out. It's completely free. The only concern might be your data being given to Google. But that's about it for guys for today's video. I'll leave all the links in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon as well as follow me on Twitter so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. 
turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.